Research shows there's a strong connection between traveling and happiness. So how can you experience the maximum amount of joy when traveling this summer? Bank of America partnered with happiness expert Sean Aker and Condé Nast Traveler to uncover the unique happiness factors that make travel joyous. Sean is here to reveal the most joyful destinations in the world. Sean, I love that title, happiness expert. How exactly did you come about that? <laughs> well, I've spent the past 10 years researching the science of happiness and actually have traveled to 50 countries trying to understand what it is that causes people to feel happiness in any type of environment that they find themselves in. Well, let's start with the joy index. What exactly is it? So uh, we know what makes people happy when you live in a destination, but as I've traveled so much, I realized that, that it's different when you travel to a location. So we decided to aggregate some of the research from the United Nations to look to see which destinations cause people to feel the most happiness when you travel to them, based upon these six factors of happiness that we know are the greatest predictors of long-term levels of happiness. Things like connection and sense of awe and wonder and adventure, all those things that, that cause the human brain to experience elevated levels of joy. So why is it important to explore the relationship between travel and happiness? So we know that happiness is important. For, we know that you know, not only is it something we want for ourselves and our families, but it extends on how long we live, it improves every educational outcome for our kids, our business outcomes, and one of the greatest predictors of happiness is actually travel. So part of the reason I partnered with Bank of America and Condé Nast is could we find out ways to help people to travel more intelligently so that they could experience more joy when they were on their vacation? Well, you look perfectly happy, even though it's a little gloomy behind you. Um, one of the places that you found that's high on the list is Houston. So what makes it one of the top 10 most joyful destinations? Part of the reason we do this research is to learn new things. And I was surprised, even as a native Texan, to find Houston at the uh, top 10 of our list. But the reason for that is partly the surprise. You know, uh, we find that when you expect to find happiness in a place, you might have muted levels of joy when you were there. But if you're finding something that you didn't expect, you have that sense of novelty which the human brain craves. Um, I'm in Houston right now. I'm loving it. Uh, it's now actually the most diverse city in the United States. It has. Uh, yeah, this thriving art scene. It's got a, a park that's bigger than Central Park in, in New York City. But because of the diversity, you get this incredible explosion of art and cuisine that allows you to experience so much of the world all in one place. So that's part of the reason that Houston made the top of our list. Now, it's interesting to think about preparing for travel because that can be stressful. So how can we find joy when it comes for getting ready to make a trip? That's so true. I think there's two things based upon this research. One is don't just think about what you're going to do on the trip. Think about who you're going to do it with. Social connection is the greatest predictor of happiness on a trip. So make sure you're meeting up with a local guide or meeting people that are there in that destination that know about the culture that's there. Deepen those relationships. The other thing I always do is when I travel, I always use a travel rewards credit card because that means every time I'm on vacation, I'm actually earning rewards and points that will help me go on a vacation in the future as well, which magnifies the joy I'm experiencing. All right, well, we have very little time left, but I'm going to ask you two things. Uh, name a couple of the places that were your most joyful travel experiences besides Houston, and then let our viewers know where they can go for more information. Some of my happiest places were surprises as well. I was in South Africa and in Zimbabwe, and it was the people there that made the place so special and so memorable afterwards. And if you want to find your top 10 joyous destinations, go to cntraveler.com slash joyindex to find out our methodology and the top 10 uh, destinations and to find out the must-dos in each of the locations so you can find out how to maximize your joy while you're there. Well, besides Houston, I can't wait to see what's on that list. I'm definitely going to check out the website. And I think next time I travel, I'm going to go with you, Sean, because you certainly have a great attitude about it. Come with me. I'd love that. All right. We'll set it up. Thanks for your time today.